First and foremost, yes, I am fully aware that I am wearing a Corona shirt, and it's actually a coincidence. Um, and you'll see my pants there because I'm not wearing them in my boxers, but you can only see me up to here, so no trouble. Okay. I believe that it is time to completely shut off China, period. Completely cancel them throughout the world. Cut off all trade, cut off all economics. Not just this country, but other countries too. And I think that we need to tell the, um, uh, the Olympic Committee that they need to ban China from attending the Olympics. And if they don't want to ban China from attending the Olympics, we need to boycott the Olympics. And I will justify that. Most communist countries, and you can look up Andre Chikatilo, the Citizen X serial killer in the Soviet Union. They completely refused to tell the public it was a serial killer loose. Most communist regimes will not tell the public about serial killers, viruses, diseases, okay, other disasters. You look at the HBO um, show Chernobyl, all the problems there, because the Soviets, the Chinese, or all the communist regimes, they want to have the illusion of perfection and utopia in the world, and they will deny a lot of shit. China did not properly close their airports. They did not properly screen people. They did not properly quarantine people when they realized this, vi this virus did exist. And we believe now that they may very well have been able to curtail about 90% of the impact of the virus if they just quarantined, closed airports, they were, they were what we're doing now. They did not. In addition to that, they actually arrested one of the doctors that blew the whistle about the virus and how bad it was going to get. And that doctor has now died from the virus. Did he die from the virus or is that what they want you to believe? But, and they, we believe they may be squashing the numbers of victims in their own country of the virus. The virus has, of, as of now, cost this country $8 trillion. I personally have lost 20% of my wealth. Plus, I'm out of work for two weeks. Okay, yes, I'm going to get unemployment. Yes, I'm going to make up eight days out of the 13 in April and May. Because the eight vacation days I had in April and May are now gone. I have to work those days. But, and keep in mind that $8 trillion was a guesstimate before the country shut down for two weeks. So it'll be more than that. And that's not to say about Italy, France, okay, their problems in their countries. It is believed that Chinese nationals and even Italian citizens were going back and forth from China to Italy, blah, blah, blah. And one of them may have carried the virus over. And because China did not properly screen, properly treat, yes. And Italy, it is now 1.37 in the morning in America. It's now later than that in Italy. So it is now Thursday. Yesterday was Wednesday. Yesterday's death toll in Italy was no less than 470 people. Okay, so lives are not going to be replaced. Our money will be replaced. The stock market will climb back up again. I will regain my wealth. But the lives that were lost are not going to come back. Now, we're going to get graphic now. Okay, this is your warning. A few months ago, when the coronavirus first took place in Asia, there was a guy, Paul Joseph Watson, who's a couple months younger than me, in England. He's a very, very good guy. He's 
conservative commentator. Follow Paul Joseph Watson. I'll put a link down below if I can. He was talking about the shit they eat in China. And they were eating, you've been warned, bat soup. Or they cut the meat up real nice and put it in, no, no, no. They literally had a fucking bowl of soup with a fucking bat sitting in it, dead. And they're eating the bat's stomach. Okay, yeah. We have um, experimentations. So we, we experiment on rats, like you have medicine. Give medicine to the rat. If the rat survives, give it to the monkey. If the monkey survives, give it to the human. Okay. You want to call what you want to call, that's fine. In China, they've experimented on animals, and after they've put poisons, toxins, and other shit into the animals, they've given the animals to the meat markets, cut the meat up, and served it as food. Even one. They've eaten animals alive. I saw a video of a guy took a rat bit the rat's head off, alive. You've been warned. I saw a video that a friend of mine shared on Facebook. It was a mother feeding her toddler son a living frog. And because he had no teeth, he could not bite the head off the frog. And it went on for several minutes, and the mother kept giving it to him. Like it was in the kiddie pool, like you go in the backyard, that pool, and you fill it with water, and you put the little babies in there. Yeah, the frog was in that pool, and the mother kept trying to serve him the frog. Could bite the frog's head off alive. The frog got away at the end of the video. They tried to get down and kill it later? I don't know. But, okay, eating animals alive, eating animals that are unclean, eating animals that have been experimented on. Okay? That kind of behavior is what results in this shit. And it is disgusting. Okay, you gotta kill animals for food. Okay, kill the animal fast, process the food properly, and eat it. Okay, this is disgusting. It is also believed, and I, I believe this is true, that China deliberately made the virus hoping to tank the world's economy. But, and I found this out the hard way, we get 96% of our antibiotics from China. And China has recently threatened to cut off our supplies of antibiotics, hoping Americans will die. Why are we dependent on a communist regime for medicine? We used to get oil from the Middle East, like we had oil in this country, okay? And we leave the oil alone, Pay through the nose that oil imported from the Middle East, and we'll be holding to the Middle East. President Trump moves away from that. But why are we relying on a communist regime for our medications? Now, if they get away with this, now, either A, they were unbearably neglectful, if not deliberately responsible for this virus. If they get away with it, what's to say? They won't start poisoning the medicine they send here. Okay. You ever see the episode of The Simpsons? Yeah, old episode. Okay. Where they predicted the coronavirus. Homer orders a juicer from China. And the guy coughs in the box. And when Homer opens the box in America, the germs come on him. And then Patty and Son blood them from each other. And all of Springfield gets sick because this virus in China... The Chinese guys coughed in the box, and the virus went to the box. <laughs> they predict the future a lot, don't they? Well, what if that would happen? What if China would have guys working in factories deliberately sick, like having guys that are sick and make them work sick, handling our sneakers, handling our socks, handling our underwear, okay? Handling our, 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 our bed sheets, <coughs> coughing on things breathing on things, touching things with unclean hands. Or there are toys that our children play with. What if they do it deliberately? Okay? They cannot get rid of this, my friends. This must not be tolerated, period. Okay?
Okay, this is warfare. Okay, rather than invade our country, they do this. And they're costing us more money than if we actually went to actual combat war, a full foot engagement. Okay, globally, they killed, they killed a lot of people globally. They didn't kill a lot of guys in this country, but if you look globally, this virus killed a lot of guys. Why is this tolerated, my friends? This should not be tolerated, period, end of story. Okay, so I'm calling for the Olympics to ban China. If not, I'm calling for us to boycott the Olympics, period. Thank you.